Hi, everyone, and welcome to our virtual IT Career Connection and Career Connection Interest Meeting. I want to thank you all for your interest in this program. And today we are going to go over um, what this program is, what it means, um, the requirements of being a participant in this program, and we'll go a little bit more in depth with what you need to do as a participant. Um, so again, I want to thank you all for um, watching today and if you have any questions just feel free to reply to this email and we are going to get started my name is robin williams and i'm the associate director of career services and i'm the manager of it career connection and career connection so i'll be working with you all as we prepare for the program in the fall so IT Career Connection and Career Connection occur before any event on campus with employers and before any on-campus interviews. And there's a reasoning behind that. Through this program, our employers gain priority access to some of our top students. And that's you guys. So being a participant in this program is definitely a great benefit. You get to see these employers before their recruitment season even starts. And that's something that they love about this program. We've had many students go on to next step interviews with our um, employer participants. And from there, a lot of our students have gained internships or full-time positions. So who are these employer participants? Who are these employers that are coming on campus to get priority access to you? So here you will see a, um, a snapshot of some of our employer partners and a lot of them have participated in either IT Career Connection or Career Connection in the past. Um, but some that are not listed on here that participated last semester are Southwest Power Pool, PCA Technology Solutions, Insano, Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield, Arkansas Department of Human Services, and USA Truck. So these are just a few of the employers who have participated in the past two years or so within our Career Connection and IT Career Connection programs. IT Career Connection and Career Connection allow for you to interview with about six to eight different companies within an hour time slot. Now that sounds like a lot, but think of IT Career Connection and Career Connection as speed interviews. You will spend about seven minutes or so with each company. And if you look at the sample schedule of a past participant, you see that he began at 12 o'clock and he ended at almost one o'clock. And during that time period, he interviewed with eight different companies. Now, Blake is a great example um, schedule for this because you see at 12.51, he interviewed with Merkel. And he now actually works full-time with Merkle. So through this program, he was able to make a connection, interview, be offered another interview, and now he has a full-time position. In order to participate in IT Career Connection or Career Connection, there are requirements that you must meet. For IT Career Connection, this program is open to all of our IT majors. And you must be a junior or senior by the first day of fall 2020 classes. Your GPA must be a 2.75 or above, and you must be graduating between December 2020 and August 2020. For Career Connection, this is open to all majors. So regardless of your major, you may participate in Career Connection. You must be classified as a senior by the first day of fall 2020 classes and have a 3.0 or above GPA. You also must be graduating between December 2020 and August 2021. Here you will see the dates for each program. So IT Career Connection comes up first on Tuesday, September 8th, and then Career Connection is next on Wednesday, September 9th. In order to participate in these programs, you must attend at a success workshop. So you came to the interest meeting today, um, but when we get back in the fall semester, we do ask that you come to a success workshop where you will learn a little bit more information about the companies. We will have uh, by that point solidified which companies are coming. You will also sign up for your interview time slot. So that one hour time slot that we talked about earlier that you will interview with the six to eight companies. Um, and we will also kind of review um, interviewing skills and kind of get you prepared for that. 
Now within these programs, all you pretty much have to do is be prepared and show up. And when I say be prepared, that means you must dress for success as if you were coming to an interview. You must um, show up. I will have all of your resumes printed for each employer. So you won't have to worry about bringing in any resumes or anything like that because your resumes will be um, reviewed and solidified before um, the program dates. You will see here that there are two success workshops that you may attend. You only have to attend one of those and they were they are both during X period to not interfere with any of your classes or anything that you might have going on. We only accept 30 to 35 students per program. If you are interested in either program, please let me know as soon as possible because I will fill participant slots based on a first come, first serve basis. In order to participate, you do have to have a resume review, and that's because whenever you come to the program, depending on which program it is on September 8th or 9th, you will not have to bring any resumes with you. I will have all of your resumes printed in each room with each employer. So all you have to do is come dress for success and ready to interview. Now I mentioned the success workshops and those dates are on the last slide, but you do have to come to one of those. I also ask that you create a Bears for Hire account or Bears for Hire powered by Handshake account, excuse me, um, if you don't have one already. And if you haven't heard of Handshake, please reply to this email and I will definitely um, get you up to speed on it. But it's pretty much a platform where you can apply for jobs, look for jobs not only in Arkansas but nationwide, apply for on-campus interviews, see career services events that are coming up. It's pretty much a career services platform. Now through this program you will meet with a lot of companies and a lot of these companies come back for on-campus interviews. So we highly suggest that you continue on in the interview through on-campus interviews here on um, with career services as you move through the academic year. Now, if you participate in this program and you land a full-time position or an internship, please let us know. I definitely want to share that news with our faculty members. I definitely want to update you um, within my data. I just want to know how successful this program has been for all of our participants. So that is our checklist for success in regards to the IT Career Connection and Career Connection programs. All right, so this is pretty much the end of our interest meeting, but there are three steps left. So you are going to receive an email from me at robinw at uca.edu. And from there, I would like for you to respond yes or no to whether you would like to participate in either IT Career Connection or Career Connection. And based on your major, I will know which program you would like to participate in. Now from there, if you are interested, I will also need for you to send a copy of your resume to me so that I can begin reviewing them this summer. Again, keep in mind that even though we have a summer between now and the actual um, IT Career Connection and Career Connection, these participant slots are going to be filled on first come, first serve basis for students who qualify. So once that program fills up, I will go with the waiting list, but if you're interested, it's best for you to let me know now. So thank you all for watching today. Thank you for your interest in this program. I wish I could see everyone's faces but we're doing the best with what we have right now. If you have any questions, just respond to this email. And I look forward to meeting everyone in the fall semester. Have a great rest of your day.